Alrighty then, welcome back to another tutorial, this one once again on Power Query. It's me, James, your BA Sensei. What we're going to look at in this case would be the networking days between days. So networking days, what does it basically mean? Normal work week uh, consists of Monday to Friday, and you want to exclude, you want to see how many days are between the two dates, the start and the end date, but you also want to exclude weekends and you want to exclude any um, public holidays. So in Excel, it's quite simple. So we have a table year start date, end date. Excel, very simple. We use the network days formula and we go start date is this one, end date is this one. And given a set of holidays, you can see it's asking for holidays, an array. And I say, these are the holidays. And I close that bracket and it will give me, um, let's just convert that to number. It will give me the number of working days between two days. But if you normally look at that, that, less that, that's 30 days if you exclude, you know, if you don't consider public holidays or any week weekdays. So, how do we do this in Power Query? Funny thing is in Power Query, there's no networking days formula. It's, you need to work quite hard to make that happen. So, I'm going to show you how to work quite hard to make that happen. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. So, let's start with the holiday list. First thing is you take your holiday list, you pull it into Power Query. Here we go. So first thing that you do is you convert that to date, your date to dates. Yes, add a new step. That's a date now. We can remove that column. And then we go and we we convert this to a list. This is very important. So this must be a list. Let's call this the holiday list. Okay, cool. That's excellent holiday list. We've got a holiday list. I'm just going to save and bring that back. Cool. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create, let's open Power Query, let's go back to Power Query. We are now going to create a new query. So we say new query, we go to other sources, we say blank query. We're going to start with a blank canvas. Here we go. All right, so now that you have your blank query, you are now going to write some custom M code. So first of all, you're going to write a function. So the function works like this. We want to pass, similar to what we have in Excel, we want to pass um, a start date, an end date, and a holiday list into this function, and then Power Query will return you a list. So let's start with start date. We give it a start date. We're going to write a function now, and we say this is date. Okay, that's the first parameter. Uh, end date as date. And then the next one is we're going to send it a holiday list. So we say holiday list as a list. Okay, cool. And Power Query works with a little arrow like that where you start your function. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to create a date list first. Okay, so we're going to use the function called list.dates. Let's take you to the documentation. You can see, so you can see what we mean by that. So list of dates. Um, what this does is it creates a list of dates, value size by count, starting at start, given an increment. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this list the start date, and we're going to tell it for how many days and what the increment is. We're going to copy this increment because that's a daily increment right there. So now let's go back there. So that data over there would be the start data we send toward it from the perimeter, start date, yes. And then um, we're looking at uh, the number, generates a list of, okay, so what is the count, the number of days we want to put in there? So we want to basically say number, and we want to say from, we want to basically take the end dates, end date, less the start date, yes, but we want to include the date that we come from. Okay, cool. So that's basically going to give us a list of dates from the start date for the number of days between the end and the start, including one, including the current. And then we're just going to give it that default, if you look at this, this default increment of one. I'm just going to copy this out there, copy that out, and we paste that in there. You know, that's going to be our duration. That's great. Cool, so that's going to generate a list of dates. And what we're going to do now is we are now going to remove the weekend. So let's say remove weekend. 
values. Okay, so what we do now is we need to use a function called list.select. Okay, let's look at the documentation for list.select. Um, list.select returns a list of values from the list that matches a specific condition. So we need to tell it what to exclude. So we want to take a list. We want to take everything from the previous date list that we generated. Yes. And then we want to iterate through that. We want to say for, for each um, day and day of week, sorry, date, date dot day of week. That gives you one would be Monday, Sunday would be seven day of week. And we're going to just give it that little perimeter there. Let's say day dot Monday. Hey, what am I doing there? Is less than five. Great. So we basically just tell it like remove from that previous date list that we created, remove anything that is on day six or day seven. Okay, so only keep Monday to Friday. Next thing that we're going to do, we want to remove the holidays. Okay, remember the holidays we created as a list. So we're going to say list dot remove items. Let's look at the documentation for remove items. To remove items removes all occurrence of a given values from a list. If the value don't exist in the list, the original is returned. So we want to basically, what we want to have there is we want to have remove weekends because we now have a short list with everything excluding weekends and everything that will like kind of like an inner join if the holiday list that we pass it as any corresponding day we will remove it that's great and then lastly what we're going to do is we want to say we're going to do a count so now we have a list of dates from the start to the end uh, removing weekends and public holidays we now just want to count the number of days the the number of items in that list we say list dot count so we're using a lot of list formulas here in this list.count, basically all it does is it counts the number of items in a list. And we want to re count remove holidays. Excellent. And then what we're going to do is how M works. You just need to end it right there. And now we actually want to give it a name. So what we're going to call it, we're just going to call it networking days um, B A S N S A. You know, so let's give it a name. Cool. So now we have that. So that's pretty cool. So now let's pull in our list of, let's say, close. <clears throat> now what I want to do is I now want to read this list into Power Query. So I'm going to say from table. Cool, so we know these two are dates converted to date. Let's get the time out of there. Add a new step. And let's say we want to add a column. This is the networking days. Call it the networking days test. What we're going to do is we're going to use our custom formula. Networking days DA. Say, and we're going to feed it the start date. We feed it the end date, and we're going to feed it the holiday list, and that should give us oh networking days. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool?